Hello and welcome back to Shadowrun Hong Kong. My name is Eiken and we're playing on hard difficulty. This is Sparklight's adventure and last time we accompanied Sparklight uh, where he was trying to find his father Raymond who had been kidnapped by his mother, so his grandmother, um, so Sparklight's grandmother, Raymond's mother. Um, and we were halfway done <clears throat> with the security complex here. Unfortunately, we did not really get an invitation, so it seems that uh, we also need to break protocol here. Let's get into control mode. And we're at the moment, we're just buffing. And putting ourselves kind of in cover. Our sniper drone might want to stay here. And next round we are going to engage. Good, time for us to break free. There we go. Once again, we do have an alarm. And Daisho is going to kind of solo whomever is uh, whomever is challenging him in the meantime there's no cover here that's the problem like none of this is covered like we would get some cover over here and probably the reinforcements are probably anyways going to come from the back as per the usual Lots of overwatch. All right, we got a fight at our hands. All of the civilians are leaving. Gaishu can heal himself. So let's finish the security. Perfect. That uh, worked uh, very well. And afterwards, we might want to increase our armor and just stay where we are. Sparklight is triggering wide reflexes. And let's use our drone here. This is the perfect range for a sniper drone. Unfortunately, they do have quite a bit of armor. Good, Isabel. Let's start hitting the grenades. Very nice. Oh, that's taking away their armor bit by bit. Wow, the civilians have a lot of hit points. I 
Sparklight is going for cover. Yep, and our drone hits very well, considering the distance. And I mean, that's the support drone, it's not even the aggressive drone. Good. I will just defeat all of the reinforcements and then that'll be good enough. Moving to the Conjura. That's one hit. And that's the second one. Very nice. Haste is not yet up. But we can heal uh, the last wound. That is good. And we can give him an, an extra aim accuracy. Plus, let's hit the Conjura. Taking our sniper drone. Yep, that's a solid hit. God damn it. All right, Isabel takes a shot. Yeah, with her we can reduce the armor. I like that. We don't have a real good armor reduction spell. Sparklight finishes him and our drone must overwatch because we have no legal targets. All right, line of sight blocked. Yeah, we can't haste Gaishu yet. And sprinting there would take too much time. So instead we're just uh, going here. Let's see what cooldown, which cooldowns we could use. We've used all of our cooldowns so far. So might as well overwatch in case someone's coming along. This guy eventually will need to move. Isabel reloads, but we're going to take the pistol for our overwatch. And let's see where the reinforcements are coming from. Our cyber arm again helped us to just throw back the grenade. That's perfect. Good. Finally, we can haste Sky Show. And does he need uh, does he need uh, to hit? No, his aim accuracy is still up. But the drone could use um, extra aim. All right. Time for an aggressive stance. And time to kill this captain here. Yeah, our weapon is not f really cutting it anymore. Like our starting AK-47. Not as good as it used to be. Overwatch, Overwatch. And we're moving the sniper drone to here so that we can Overwatch 
in this direction. Yet another grenade that we are throwing back. And there are quite a few ec uh, extra enemies there. Healing, 9 points, 6 points, 13 points. You know what? Let's start with 9 points. We can, Gaichu can always heal himself if needed. That's what I'm talking about. Good job. All right, we got the captain down. And we have even enough time to charge in and kill the next one. Great. Lovely. Okay, Isabel. That's a solid kill. Drone moves to here and takes a sniper shot overwatch. And we are using our wired reflexes and overwatching again. Yeah, it almost seems as if they wouldn't have, um, as if they wouldn't have thought that you can kill them that fast. So they reduced the spawn rate. Damn it! <clears throat> Three grenades, all of them reflected. I love it. One, two, three, and moving out so that Isobel can take a grenade launcher and start going mad. We do have haste, so we can uh, hand that over to Isabel. There we go. Sniper drone. Takes a shot. Moves forward because Overwatch hasn't procced. We are reloading with uh, Sparks right and the drone overwatches as well. Kaichu charges uh, charges in. One miss, two miss. Uh, uh, no, one hit, two hits. Perfect.
There we go. More Overwatch, reload. And I think we're almost done with them. There we go. Using our security key card. And yet another option for Isabel to check in. Like I said, there was a lot of uh, metrics. The mainframe was huge. We're being spotted out. It's one hit and two hits and three hits. Time for us to summon a couple of programs. And definitely also time to try to reduce um, our uh, system trace because it is getting quite bad. We're over 200 now. Good, we're leaving the eyes alive because I want to reduce the system trace next turn. Good, we're down to 165. And this should be it. Well, or not. Eighty-seven percent chance, and we missed, of course. There we go. Good, I'll do this off screen again. There we go, optional, uh, mm, optional mission succeeded. We have um, we've just hacked the node. Ah, boy, boy, even more system nodes. I think we need to hack this one as well. All right, here we go. Yeah, it was another data storage. I remember that one. This is the largest mainframe in the entire game. And the problem is if you mess it up, uh, it will get in incredibly difficult later down the line <clears throat> because part of uh, the later mission is going to use the mainframe. And normally with uh, smaller mainframes you can just ramble your way through it. But with these large mainframes that is unfortunately not possible. All right, I'll do that again off screen. Let's go. All right, secure data store. There we go.
Perfect. We got the code for the laboratory. Now let's see what else we can take from here. There's a little side quest here. I'm not sure if we can still do it. Yep, we can. This executive here. Uh, he he was paying me the last time for a data recovery, but again we had uh, the necessary etiquette to pull it off. The VP of operations. Well, Mr. Vice President, I said good day. Okay, so that's the point where we have been through everything, but there is still uh, the option to to get to lab 12. Entering the second code, and there we go. Now we finally got lab 12, which is exactly the place where we want to go, because that's where they keep Raymond. All right, time for lab 12. So this is where Raymond is being kept. We simply need to find a way of getting him out of his situation. Let's first of all see what exactly um, the problem is going to be. Firstly, we got a bunch of securities. There we go. Our typical way of saying hello. Good, haste for Gaishu, and let's put uh, Isabel into cover and see if we can hit a couple of the guards. That worked well, and that worked perfectly well. So one down. Our drone deals a lot of damage for a support drone. I like it. Good, moving in. Heaven sends. Unfortunately, these guys are tough to hit. There we go, almost killed him. And the sniper drone goes for cover as well. Flanked, but barely did not kill him. And yet another grenade that uh, we could throw back. Perfect. One, two, three. Ah, that is unfortunate. Okay, the guy has one HP, quite literally. Good. And we got ourselves the access cards. 
but the real fight has just begun. Because the reprogramming of uh, Raymond's mind that his mother has started put him essentially in the assist machine here. And what we now need to, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of piece them together, which is kind of a consolidated effort. Um, part of him uh, needs to be repieced in the matrix. So Isabel will uh, be uh, taking that on, whilst we need to defend him. There we go. All right, Isabel begins to check in. And this is uh, where we need to make sure that that we have not overloaded the system, because if the system would be overloaded, uh, that would be really bad news. We would be in a, uh, in a really difficult matrix fight. All right, bringing our drones into position. That's one and one over here. That's two. And our shaman moves over here. There we go. Well, that is a lot of enemies. So we're in a parallel fight. Oh, uh, the system is completely uh, fresh. So yeah, we might as well just force our way through it. No problem. Community hub. Um, we don't uh, use that yet. We need to first of all get all of the fragments of his brain together, which is what Isabel is going to do now. All right, let's start with Gaishu here. It's one hit, two hits, Oh no, no, wrong stance. We don't want the water stance. We want heaven that deals way more damage. There we go, almost killed him. Yeah, we, we're not using any healing yet. There we go. Oh, I forgot there's another guy right here. Ah, damn it. All right, we need to take care of him as well. All right, let's clear this white ice. Uh, of course, we are missing. Oh, damn it. I did not see the, bl the black ice coming. So let's play it safe. Guardian program. 
self heal and let's nuke the black eyes very nice damage Good, we're shielding Isabel. And let's make sure that we can actually hit this guy. Good, we can force our way through it easily and get the first part of his brain. More enemies and we definitely should try to reduce the system trace just a little bit after we beat one of the eyes. Alright, that's one hit. 99% missed, alright. Well, that killed our assassin program. That was unfortunate. We might need to check out and wire back in. Uh, now is a great option for a ghost. And whilst we're at it, how about we're using our drone to hit one of its grenades, basically disabling everyone. This is so good. And it's not even costing any resources. One hit, two hits, three hits, and can we do a coup de gras by the way? No, apparently not. Good, so does anyone need healing? No, okay. Okay, we still have actions left over. And our sniper drone. Yeah, it's too close. That's the problem. But if I put it further back, we cannot take any overwatch shots anymore. All right, Isabel. Reduces the overall system trace. And the black eyes misses. We can simply kill it and done deal. So far, so good. This gives us the option to simply force our way through this. 
And I would say we're logging out and re-checking in right afterwards. Perfect. Good. Let's start with our goals here. First things first, pacifying one, uh, hitting all of the others. And whilst we're at it, let's use aim accuracy. It's, I think, a really good uh, moment for our drones to drop another grenade. There we go. Everyone is again dizzy Kaishu begins to slaughter the remaining enemy The mage, he has stolen one AP from him, that's good. Well, let's maybe try to kill it with our sniper drone. Yeah, the chance to hit is just too low. And the ghost couldn't finish it off, uh, him off either. Okay, Isabel got caught. Oh, we gotta fight this in the Matrix. But in the meantime, can we deal with the guys here? Is the question. So, first things first. Our ghost begins uh, or continues to run Rampage. There we go. Um, what is Zhang going to do? Gaichu is probably going to move here. 94% and we miss twice in a row. That is unfortunate. Good, so the smoke should deal some damage. There we go. Now, continuing to pepper them with grenades. If the drone hits, it deals a lot of damage. Yep, they're very nice. All right, buffing ourselves. And let's kill this watcher here. There we go. Uh, so stupid. I should have known better. That will cost us quite a uh, quite an amount of trace.
summoning the assassin program. Okay, here we go. Up to 200 trays. But we're still fine. If worse comes to worst, I'll just manually play some of uh, the unlocking games. Time to kill the black eyes. There we go. No need to overkill it. Nice, we can kill two of them if every single shot hits. Yeah, of course. Just when I say that, the last shot misses. Okay, we do have one, two, we have quite a few enemies here. Are you serious? Wow. All right, so that's one down. This guy seems to be in an incredible uh, tough cover. Nope. Lots of 50 50s, and we still couldn't get him down. One, two, three, four. Good, we're reducing uh, the host, uh, the host exposure. So system trace is down to 160. Which allows us to force our way through the third bank. We need to basically get four fragments of the brain of Raymond in order to put him together. And there we go, we're healing ourselves. How about we're consuming? How about we're consuming the ghost? There we go. She gets healing plus extra um, plus extra AP and extra armor, which is great. So overwatching and overwatching. That's one hit. And that's not an entire kill, unfortunately. Good. Moving to the last note.
and we are firing up all of our programs. It's time to get the black eyes down first. Definitely don't want to be hit by it. <clears throat> There's some more eyes over here. Good, back to the real world. I think there is no one left. It uh, worked out much better than the last time. The last time I didn't know what to expect. So they were basically just charging me. And once they get kind of in, in this middle area, they start taking shots at your, uh, at your decker and you don't want her to get injured. There we go, killed everything. And even force our way through. Good. Now for the assembly part. We're taking the control hub and we're using slot one with him as a young boy. Slot two with him as a young executive. Slot three as a middle-aged man. And slot four as an old man. And that puts the pieces in the right order. He's slowly but surely waking up. And he still seems to be very, very dizzy. Taking some more med kits. And I think we're almost out of here. Yeah, of course. Almost is not quite out of here. Good. Charging in. One hit. Two hits. And a miss. How unlucky. We're enabling control mode. And control mode. Flying our sniper drone into cover. Not sure if we can hit this guy, but it would be nice if we can, yep, finish him off. Oh, that's good. <clears throat> that's one hit. Oh, I see. Oops. I used uh, the smoke grenade the exact other way around. That and uh, then it should have been used. We should have uh, used it on us and not on the enemy. Perfect. Kaichu continues his rampage. Unfortunately, the smoke makes it harder for him to hit. God damn it. 
All right, learning, don't use smoke. The enemy can run into it. And this just makes it awkward. Okay, Isabel begins to hopefully kill this, uh, these guys. Unfortunately, even with aim, they seem to have a considerable defense because it's not just uh, them going into cover. They have a built-in defense to make it more difficult to hit them. I think we're almost done. I'm not mistaken, that was it. And now we're going to hear a couple of really, really disturbing news. Because Raymond has fucked up big times. Alarms Blair as you hustle Raymond from the special project section of uh, Prosperity Tower, but you encounter no resistance. Raymond unsteadily gropes his way through the corridors of the corporate headquarters, holding onto your elbow for support. Occasionally, the old man's fingers uh, gauze dressing on his head uh, with his free hand, winching when he touches a tender patch. Uh, tense minutes pass between the time that you exit the building and you enter the MTR station. Uh, the team uh, remains on high alert, scanning the streets and buildings for a sign of Xen security forces. And that is when you arrive at your home station. So our dead li lives, which is great. But like I mentioned beforehand, he has screwed up big time. And we probably will need to help him to get out of the situation. Good. This here is a dialogue where Raymond essentially is extremely exhausted and kind of cannot really picture anything together. He's mumbling incoherent stuff about some sort of being with a thousand teeth. And we are slowly but surely uh, picturing, uh, picturing the situation together. So the Queen of Teeth that he uh, talked uh, is now telling us about is essentially a being uh, that lives in Wallet City. Raymond, when he was younger, worked on a machine, a machine that should have brought uh, steady wealth and um, feng shui um, into the slums. Unfortunately, the machine, instead of pulling positive energy into these slums, started more and more pouring negative energy into the slums. And that's exactly uh, what happened over the course of 20 years. With so much negative energy, um, there is a massive being uh, lurking in the slums that is about to break loose. And uh, Raymond wanted to destroy the machine. His mother wants to still keep it uh, because she wants control and she doesn't want negative PR. So that is really what's going on. Raymond will accompany us and we will need to shut down this machine and whatever uh, is guarding it. All right. We are upgrading the drones. Talked about that already. Still get eight karma. So let's go for ranged combat five. And we're we're just two, car uh, two karma short uh, from strength three, which is needed for the laser weapon, but we'll get there eventually.
Now there is a uh, there are a couple of things that we need to do first. After spending our karma, we have new no new messages. We have no active jobs. Cannot post anything for extra money. That is indeed unfortunate. Let's manage our stash. So we got an another nice med kit here. And I want to use those uh, the sniper rifle here. And we're, we're almost there. Just missing strength. And we, we can get extra cyberware to get uh, to um, range combat 6. Good. We need to sell a bunch of stuff because I want a new drone. That has the highest priority. Where the heck is he? So she's the spell, uh, spell merchant. We definitely can't get anything uh, from her that's use, uh, useful, but we can sell a bunch of stuff to get uh, money out of her. All right, we're looking at 4,000, which is, by the way, enough for the drone. Um, let me just uh, see, have we sold our spells? I think we did. Yeah, I think we sold our spells. Are you telling me that just when I have the money for the best drone in the game, the vendor disappears? That is so not okay. Every other vendor is still there. Okay, so every other vendor is uh, there, but the drone uh, person. He is normally, um, or she is normally uh, the cybertech uh, lady, but maybe she has a couple of drones as well. The answer is uh, no. Uh, I wanted the drone so bad. Can we take a nap and then just see if that guy uh, reappears? Normally we can take a nap, but maybe that's not possible due to the elevated situation. Yeah, we cannot take a nap. I don't know what kind of uh, game testing uh, has gone through that, but certainly none of the guys that have played a rigor have tested this game.
Yeah, that's the drug dealer. We don't need any drugs. I love guns, but again, that's not what we need. Literally every single merchant is uh, there. Well, you know what? Oh, Reliable Matthew has made it uh, over here. Well, well, thank you for considering our business, Matthew. Let's see. Hmm. I like the idea of a fully automated weapon because the problem with the sniper drone is we're often in too close um, uh, combat. So I'll try the close uh, combat, uh, the close combat one, and we're selling the sniper drone. Confirm. Which leaves us with a thousand nuen. Uh, that's probably not enough to get any cyberware. Yeah, not really. Yeah, we needed a thousand four hundred. That's the minimum uh, that we um, that we could have uh, taken. But it is what it is. Um, I got almost all of the money in the game, and it still wasn't enough. Uh, the drones themselves already cost uh, seven thousand, so there is just not enough uh, money in the game left. Anyways, this brings us uh, to the end of today's mission. Thank you so much, uh, so much for watching, guys. I appreciate it. And uh, next time we're going to go for the final mission. Take care and have a great evening. Bye-bye.